Hello and welcome to Kiss Metronizing. Today we're doing a love oracle card reading and we have five options before us. We have option one, two, three, four and five. Please make your choice and go down to the description box below where you'll find the timestamp for your reading. So for those of you who have chosen the first option here, we're asking what is our advice in love for this week? What is it that we need to hear now in love? And there's our first card. And the name of the card is Define Discontent. So what I'm hearing with regard to this is that all is not well right now, or all is not as harmonious as it can be. But this is not something that we need to be concerned about. This is part of the course of where we need to go to. This is not something that we need to be concerned about, we need to have anxiety about. This is part of the process. We have not arrived where we need to go to. We are still on our journey there. The other thing I'm hearing about this is that it's okay to be discontent at times because we can appreciate that which is contentment only when we've experienced discontent. The other message I'm hearing here, which is actually the overriding message of this card, is that there is not much that you have control over right now. You cannot control what is going on around you. What is happening right now is external to you, and you may as well just submit to it or surrender to it, and this is what it's going to be until it is no longer. So what I mean by that is that it's okay to register the discontent that is ex that exists in the celestial world at this, pre at this moment. So one may refer to the eclipses that are taking place at this moment when I'm recording this video and understand the discontent or the lack of harmony um, with regard to these eclipses one may also understand that this is just a process that we are undergoing and that this too shall end. Having said so, it is important to note that this passage that you're going through right now will come to an end. So whatever it is that you're experiencing right now in which there is discontent in love or there's an uneasiness or you're unsure of where you're headed to, Recognize that this is just temporary and this too shall pass and it's okay to be in this moment and to breathe through it and you will come out of it when the time is meant to be, when the time is right for it to be at end. And so that was your message for those of you who've chosen the first option. So for those of you who've chosen the second option, the question we're asking is, what is our advice for this week? in terms of love. What is our love advice this week? And we have the cloak of Christ. So what I'm hearing here is that what is important for you to understand at this moment is that you are surrounded by the love that you need. That even though you may not understand it or you may not see it, you are supported by the divine at this moment and this is a particular kind of support that you're given so we always have support from the divine we are always receiving support but within your particular situation and within the particular question that you're asking in regard to love at this moment the answer that has been given to you is that you have the divine support that you need specifically for this and this comes in the form of a Christ consciousness, so to say. There's a sense that one may rest within a space where one is protected in the cloak of love. What is recognized is that the spirit world understands where you're at at this moment and what it is that you need in order to be able to go ahead. It is important for you to rest at this moment and to salvage yourself salvage whatever else you have 
and look after yourself and rebuild yourself from within the space of protection. So that is your message in terms of love for this week from the oracle. The other thing I'm hearing here is that the healing that you will experience now or the, the transformation that you'll be undergoing now comes from a space of, of tapping into unconditional love. So if you can tap into unconditional love, if you can experience unconditional love, if you can feel unconditional love for something, whether it be your pet or your loved one or a child, if you have a child or someone else's child or for your, your one of your parents, whatever it is that you feel unconditional love for, for whomever it is that you feel unconditional love, you will heal through that experience because that is the cloak within which you rest at this moment. That is the space from which you are able to access further information and you're able to grow beyond yourself and you're able to move beyond the space that you're in right now. So that is the message for you, for those of you who've chosen uh, the second option uh, this week. Thank you for coming by and um, I'm wishing you all the best as usual. So for those of you who have chosen the third option, which is this blue fox here, the question we're asking today is what do we need to know in terms of love? What is the advice that we need to have for this week or for the time period ahead of us in terms of love? And the card that we have here is called Blood Angel. So what I'm hearing here is that there's going to be a new level of infusion of energy coming your way. There's going to be a new beginning, a sharp new beginning, a vibrant new beginning, a new beginning that rustles forth in with great energy and almost with great surprise. It's as if you're not, you have not been expecting this, but you've been hoping for this and your wish is about to come true. It is so that you will have what it is that you desire. It is so that what you have and what you desire will be brought to an exponential level. So you may be able to receive much more than what you expect. The energy that will come through to you right now will come from another source, will come from a higher being. It's as if you have gone through difficulty, and I'm hearing the last two years would have been difficult times, not having certainty, not having clarity, not knowing which way to move ahead, and now comes your clarity, now comes your new beginning, now comes a great new stance from which you can do so much more in love. This is where it begins. This is your new beginning that you've been waiting for. You are in this new beginning as we speak. And more of this energy will come your way in the next few weeks. I would also like to look at what is um, what Alana Fairchild, the author of this oracle, has written uh, here because I feel that there's a message from her message for you as well. And so I'm going to read from the book here. It says, the oracle of the blood angel comes to you with a particular message. You've been given the gift of more life. You may experience this as growth, expansion, more energy, more life force or divine electricity circulating through your system. The blood angel understands that in the gift of greater life, which enables a soul to live more of its essence, becoming a more palpable divine presence upon this earth, there are many unavoidable experiences. One of these is that there will be more sunsets to counter the increase in your sunrises. This is about balance. When opening up to receive more, one needs to empty out what has been to what it has been to allow for a new influx of energy. It is not about an exchange of equal measure, for you will receive according to the great generosity of life itself and thus even more shall be offered in compensation for what you are willing to release. However, release must take place. Balance is the natural law. 
The sunset makes way for the time of night. That may be the darkness of grief or the stirring of unknown places within that only relieve, uh, sorry, that only reveal themselves in clarity the following morning. Be ready to endure the sunset and the night to become ready to receive the sunrise and with it more life is your divine task now. So what I was feeling here is that there is all this new energy that's coming forth, but I knew there was another message to come forth and I, I couldn't quite feel that in the, um, I couldn't quite feel what that message is. And I'm really glad I've read this message from the book because it's far more eloquent than I could have put across. Um, I just want to say that there's one, one uh, more thing here that I feel that you need to hear. And that is that The light that comes into your life right now, the new energy that you have in your life right now, well, it comes with responsibility. And it comes with responsibility for you to be able to maintain it and to carry on with it, to move ahead with it. If you reject it, it will go away or it will be um, a dimmer light that will come into your life. So open, um, openly welcome it, you know. Open, uh, welcome it with open arms is what I want to say and allow this energy to flow in your life and allow the new beginnings in love to actually create something beautiful and something new in your life okay so I think that's it for me for you those of you who have chosen the third option here let me know uh, if there is a new beginning and let me know how this message resonates for you I thank you for coming by and I wish you very well on your path so for those of you who have chosen this one, this is the fourth option. We're asking the question, what is our advice in terms of love for this week? What is the advice from the oracle in f for love? And we have the sacred phoenix card. Um, sorry, the sacred, sacred phoenix heart. So I would actually like to read the um, meaning from the book here. Um, from... The book is, uh, the author of these cards are Alana Fairchild, and they are called the uh, Rumi cards, uh, yeah, the Rumi Oracle, and I would like to just go ahead and read the meaning from the book. So, um, the meaning here is, well, one of the meanings here, it's pretty long, so I'm just going to uh, give you a paragraph from it, which I believe um, is, is the meaning for you for today. Um, it reads... Love guides us through travails that seem improbable, if not impossible. It does not shy away from any channel, from any channel, channel, sorry. It does not ch shy away from any challenge, from any cause. It cannot. It's just love's way. Love says to us that there's another way. You are receiving this guidance now. Perhaps you're scratching your head quizzically, or are in deepest despair because you appear to have met a dead end, a frowning no or dismissive laugh upon your quest to bring love alive. So then, do you choose to believe in love, or in the death of sorts, your f or in a death of sorts your heart faces? Your heart shall rally. I choose death because that is the portal to new life, and so it is wise, you see. But you must be brave. To be burned in love, by love, for love, will in involve endurance of pain, but it will also place it in context. It is the shorter pain that is not compounded by erroneous thinking. That pain comes and goes quite quickly when you realize that love is simply, playful, playfully, smacking your wrist and saying, not that way, beloved. There are great pitfalls on that path. Come, take this one, where there shall be wine and dancing. Okay, so that is the paragraph I felt um, I was kind of guided to read to you um, when I was, yeah, when I was uh, shopping these cards. Um, what I would like to say with regard to these cards is that there, one ought to realize, one ought to discern, one ought to be able to, to speak to oneself and understand why it is that we are drawn to a particular kind of love and what what is the goodness in that 
So if we are drawn to a particular kind of love because we cannot resist or because it's simply too exciting to let go, but we note and we understand that there are red flags, that there are circumstances which we should be aware of, yet we continue along the path ignoring the red flags. Well, in that case, one must understand there will be consequences. Okay, consequences which you are already aware of, which you have not heeded. And the other thing I'd like to say here is that it is the path that you ultimately choose. Yeah, if you've chosen a path that is a difficult path for you, you've chosen it because there is something that you still need to learn from this. Perhaps you still need to value yourself. Perhaps you still need to understand that happiness and joy and really true love and loving trumps pain and drama and difficulty. Perhaps one still needs to, to not be addicted to the excitement of that which is enticing, but rather to understand what is wholesome and move towards that which is wholesome. And so that is the message that I'm hearing for you. And I hope that, that as well as the, the message that I read to you from the guidebook that, that accompanies this deck, uh, actually resonates with you and is in fact going to help you and is informative in some way. So I wish you very well and um, much love and much joy on your path. Thank you. So for those of you who have chosen the last option here, we are asking from the Rumi Oracle, what is it that we need to know in love this week? What is it that we need to know in love in this week? What resonates with us in terms of love during this week? And the card we have is called the right choice. So I think just in keeping with the other uh, cards, with some of the other readings that I've given here on this uh, for today, I would like to read from the book um, as I believe it might be <laughs> the right choice uh, to begin with. And then I will see if there's a message to be channeled forth. So um, the message, well, I'll just read a paragraph because the message is very long. The paragraph I'm going to read to you reads, on the path of love, there is not so much wrong and right in the moral sense, so much as what is wrong or right for you. The mind cannot help so much here. Only the heart can speak such truths. The mind may reject it, recoil, analyze, and find all reasons why the simple truth, the right choice of the heart, cannot possibly work and only lead to pain. That is what the heart does rather well, actually. But it doesn't mean the right choice. The heart choice becomes incorrect. It means, rather, that the heart has outsmarted the mind, and the mind will need to bow to the heart, even without understanding its sometimes impenetrable mysteries. Or one can choose to stay in inner conflict, fighting against the right choice, but eventually, Love will prevail, and the way forward must be taken. So can you give up what you planned, believed, or decided? Let the heart wisdom that silently and constantly broadcasts its pure and free intention into the fertile womb of the universe lead the way instead. It will lead you along the right path, to the right house where sits the right master for you. He grabs you in a bear hug and gently whispers, into your ear. What took you so long? I've been waiting for you since the day you were born. Now we are together. It's time for us to play. It is said that one man's, one man's meat is another man's poison. To base your choices on what others have chosen for themselves may end up killing you. Better to take your risks in the angel of your own heart, wise as that being is, and dance to your own heart, heart rhythm instead. 
There may be fear if others seem to be dancing different steps. But beloved, you know that it's just because every heart has its own unique rhythm and yours doesn't want to waltz so much as to tango. So why not allow it to be thus, without fear or doubt? And so uh, that is what I'm, where I'm going to end um, reading from the book today. I feel that um, there is not more that I'd like to channel with regard to that message. I, am, I have not channeled your message and I do not feel that I need to add anything to that message. I feel that that message is perhaps all that you need for today uh, with regard to love and with regard to the decisions that you need to make or the steps forward that, um, yes, that are ahead of you. So, yes, I hope that it has been adequate uh, for you. And um, I love channeling messages and I love doing this. But today I was guided to use the book and the messages within the book. Um, and uh, so I've just gone ahead and done that. And I will be channeling messages here in the future um, again. So, um, yes, I wish you well and thank you very much. So thank you for those of you who have come to listen to these messages. And I wish you very well in the week ahead. And um, blessings bound from Kismet Rising.